Alex Pajera did what Hamzat Shemaev was supposed to do in the UFC. Alex Pajera is one of the best strikers in UFC history. He has a long list of accomplishments in kickboxing, and his skills in kickboxing have transferred very, very well into MMA. It's crazy how he's been able to adapt his kickboxing style in MMA, he was able to do it better and quicker than Adesanya was able to. That's insane. Let's compare this with Hamza Chimaev. When Hamza first came into the UFC, he was finishing a bunch of low quality opponents really easily, and he was saying he wanted to fight every single weekend. That's fucking he illegal. said boldly he was gonna smash Kamara Usman, and then he was gonna move up to 185 and smash Adesanya. Well, after all that talk, Hamza's only been fighting one or two times a year. Embarrassing. <laughs> And when he finally faced top competition, he barely squeezed a win against Usman and Gilbert Burns. Hamzat Shemaev can't even make 170 anymore. He was forced to move up to 185 by Dana White. Meanwhile, Alex Pereira bursts onto the scene after Hamzat Shemaev, and he's already achieved two world championship belts before Hamzat Shemaev has even had a title shot, all while remaining humble and stoic. As opposed to Hamzat Shemaev's extremely cocky attitude that he can't live up to anymore. Now look, some Hamzat fans might say Alex Pajera has had special treatment by the UFC. Oh, he had the best matchups. And that's why he's further along than Hamzat Shemaev. That is complete cope. Hamzat has been given way more special treatment than Alex Pajera. Do you guys remember when he was given the world's easiest fight against Nate Diaz, a literal gimme fight, a layup against a UFC superstar that he would have easily won. But no, he decided to miss weight by seven and a half pounds. And what did the UFC do? Did they remove him from the card? No, they switched up half of the main card fights just for him last minute, all because Hamza Shamayev missed weight. That is literally Conor McGregor level treatment. <laughs> Alex Pajera has already made himself a Hall of Famer in such a short amount of time. Pajera has fought seven, about to be eight, times in the last three years. Hamzat Shemaev has fought seven times in four years. And Alex Pajera has been fighting the best of the best. Hamzat's only top high-level opponents have been Gilbert Burns and Kamara Usman, and he barely beat them. Let's be honest here. Shemaev had all of the momentum in the world and he squandered it completely. Look, him squeaking past an over-the-hill, short-noticed Usman, moving up to 185 for the first time, was less than impressive. And here's the truth you don't want to admit, Hamzat fans. Kamaru Usman would have finished Hamzat Shemaev if that was a five-round fight. Even despite the short notice, he would have finished Hamzat Shemaev oh! if that fight was five rounds. And look, at the end of the day, this comparison can be ended with just one sentence. Hamzat talks, Alex actually fights. Look, I do like Hamzat Shemaev. I think his fights are really good. They're really entertaining. But he's very, very overhyped. And Alex Behera was able to accomplish everything Hamzat Shemaev said he was going to do. But, I mean, look at him now. He hasn't even had a title shot yet. But what do you guys think? Do you guys give some leeway to Hamzat Shemaev? I know he's suffered from sickness and visa issues, but still, he continues to talk and talk and talk. He calls out every single new welterweight champion, middleweight champion, light heavyweight champion. Or do you guys agree with my take? I think I gave a pretty good take here. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. Please like, comment, subscribe to the LSOC YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.